three people on. Guys, real quick, I narrowly missed this, so I gotta re edit this video. Let's read today, Saturday, August 21st, devotional in our Jesus Calling book. And it says, Wait with me for a while. I have much to tell you. You are walking along the path I have chosen for you. It is both a privileged and a periodless, periodless way, experiencing my glorious presence and her heralding that reality to others. Sometimes you feel pre presumptuous to be carrying presumptuous that word's got me messed up too <laughs> to be carrying out such an assignment do not worry about what other people think of you the work i am doing in you is hidden at first but eventually blossoms eventually blossoms will burst forth and abundant fruit will be born stay on the path of life with me trust me wholeheartedly letting my spirit fill you with joy and peace and you know it's kind of wild um because today a little story real quick i've been searching for some bible verse that's that that's similar to this and it it's that no matter how silent god is he's still working for you and i mean just right in here Stay on the path of life with me. Trust me wholeheartedly, letting my spirit fill you. Like, this is what I was, I was, I was looking for this. I was looking for this. Right here. Yep. Back to the video. Welcome back to the Arctivet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor and today we're going to be working on the lights for Miss Dora here. Now I have a 52 inch light bar up at the top. Let's go up to the front. I, should, I guess it should start up here, right? And then I have two white flashing uh, lights. I don't know, they're what, like three inches maybe? Four inches? And then a 22 inch bar down on the bottom. And the only one that works currently is the top one. And my switches are located right here, which are kind of hard to see. However, they're all three right here. And I want to move them. I don't know where, but I don't like that spot. I don't like that spot. So I think I'm going to find a new place to put them. I, oh man, it's tough. I don't know. I don't know. I may just add, I know that two of those are not actually even wired up all the way, so I'm going to have to do some wiring inside of here, but also I would like to move these out of here and maybe, I don't, I don't know, find the firewall to go through. It's, it's kind of a mess, but it's the way that I did it and it worked. And that right there is probably one of the reasons why my wires wiring don't work huh interesting I didn't even realize that so yeah that's totally missing huh. oops the doors ate it eating it the doors eating it just like doing that so it's probably a good reason why you shouldn't put it right there. Because it's just going to pinch it. But that is the way that I did it. And today we're going to change it up. So, as you can see, there's you just pop that off and you pop that out. And we'll be led back into the wiring <laughs> we'll come back to that though for right now we're just trying we got it all wired up here already right 
we're just trying to fix the wiring down here because it had come loose so that's where we're gonna start is with these enjoy the process I guess all we're gonna really need is some uh, strippers get your dollar bills ready some dikes okay some snips some snippers I'd rather call them snippers I don't know cutters some butt connectors <laughs> and some wiring and these might come in handy these are what I used last time so I'm probably gonna ditch them and then I also got some heat shrink uh, tubing and today I am a hundred days smarter <laughs> that was going and as always electrical tape and zip ties and a Riley Roo there we go so I didn't end up rewiring them however I talked to my buddy and I think I'm gonna put them right here he had a pretty good idea put them there and as far as the wire oops as far as the wire I got them tucked in there a little better nicer they don't get pinched but the good news is that was hard to nope never mind it's not even hard to see you can see it's still working Uh oh this guy isn't working for some reason well we got the flashers working that bottom one was working top one's good i don't know maybe i turned it off there i just didn't have it on i must have bumped it there we go at night it looks so much better the wiring's all cleaned up Go ahead, pop the hood real quick after I turn this off. Let's turn that off, turn that off, and finally that one. But I think right here's where they're gonna go. When I get there. And look at that, it's so much cleaner. You can see the wire tucks down in there. Maybe you guys can see that. And then it goes all the way through there, all the way to the side. And everything's tucked in nice and neat back there. It comes around. It's no more just going right over the battery. Don't judge. <laughs> Go ahead and judge. I don't care. This engine bay is nasty. It's dirty. But you know what? We just crossed like 81,000 miles in Dora. And that mud hole right there is why she's always dirty. Always dirty. We had some rain last night. But anyhow, go ahead, click that red subscribe button. Ask three of your friends to also subscribe. And then, then, we will hit 1,000 subscribers with your guys' help. And that means that we can become monetized because if we add, we're sitting at 545 subscribers right now. And if we add 500 more, not even 500 more, really, we only need, gosh, what's the math on that, guys? If we're at 545 right now, we need 1,000. We only need like 455. Is that right? Is that right? Let me know in the comments down below if my mouth is good. It might not be. We'll be monetized. And we'll hit those 4,000 watch hours because right now, with half of our subscriber count, we're so close to that 4,000 hours. So that means if we double our subscriber count, we're gonna have like 8,000 watch hours, roughly. Like, just an estimate, right? If you double it, you double it, right? That's amazing. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if this helps you out, don't forget thumbs up it. God bless.